What's going on guys, P. Will back here for another video. In this video, we're talking about the delayed entry program, also known as the Future Soldier Training Program. So I know some of you who watch my videos, or maybe a lot of you are already in the delayed entry program, you already know what it is. So this video isn't gonna be helpful for you, but if you do uh, already participate in the Future Soldier program, leave your, your thoughts down below, what you can expect, you know, help the guys out that are not in the delayed entry program yet. But uh, that's what we're talking about in this video is the delayed entry program. So basically what the delayed entry program is, um, it's for high school seniors, I mean, you can be in high school when you enlist, and if you're in high school, obviously you've got to complete the school year before you can actually ship off to basic training. Um, so what the delayed entry program is, where you can go ahead and enlist, guarantee your contract, and once your contract's guaranteed, you will go through the future soldier training program. Um, now, contract-wise, what you can expect, um, all the all the delayed entry program really does is, um, so everybody signs an eight-year contract, right? you might have four years active duty, four years reserve. Let's say you do one year, 365 days in the delayed entry program. Well, if you do that, you will basically take one year off of your reserve time. So instead of four years and four years, you will have four years active, three years reserves because you did a whole year in, in the delayed entry program. So that's contract wise. Now what do you actually do in the delayed entry program? So I'll give you my experience and like I said, if you already are in the delayed entry program, future soldiers, uh, leave your, your input down below. But for me, so my office did training um, sometimes twice a week, but it was every Monday uh, you would have a future soldier training. So. Most of the time it was PT related. Most of the time we would go for a run. Uh, sometimes we would do circuits, um, you know, carrying water jugs. Um, one time for future soldier training program, we went and swore in at a hockey game uh, at the local uh, minor league team. We went out in front of the, everybody on the ice. So that was pretty cool. Um, but generally it's some type of PT. Um, you will do the the preparatory drill, which is what you do every day at PT. It's basically the warm up army warm up drill. Um, so yeah, you'll bas you'll learn the basics of a little bit of the PT exercises. Go for a run. Um, you will take the OPAT if you are not familiar with the OPAT. It's just a test where you will base a uh, guideline, base yourself on your MOS so if you're qualified for your MOS, um, and you have to take that. You know, if you're in the delayed entry program for a while. You will have to take that multiple times. I think the test is only good for 60 days, maybe 90 days, might be 30 days. It's only good for a, a period of time. So if you're in the program longer than that, um, you will have to retake that test multiple times. Um, but other than that, you really, you like you're gonna have to PT on your own if you wanna improve. It's really not even enough to sustain you. You're really just getting a feel. Your recruiter's making sure that you are, you know, alive and, you know, in good standing, basically. Um, you're gonna have to do more if you really want to improve. Now, it's it, it's good. It's good to start lear learning how to work with other people, be around like-minded individuals, but uh, PT-wise, it's not that tough. Now, you can be in the delayed entry program even if you are not um, a high school senior. Like, m right now, especially because the Army's growing, it's pretty backed up. Even if you're, like, out of high school, you're still probably going to go into the delayed entry program um, because, like, for me, I signed up in... Uh, like a sept in a in a May time frame, but I still didn't leave for basic training until September. So that shows, like for my MOS, it was like however long that is. It's a few months backup time from when you sign up to when they have availability at basic training, and there's nothing you can really do about that, which is probably a good thing. You want to spend time with your family, get things squared away before you leave, um, give you a little bit more time to increase your PT score, get a little familiarization with the Army. Um, like I said, that's a great thing about the Future Soldier Training Program. It's not really uh, the PT that's good about it, but it gets you a little bit familiar with like Army lingo. Um, the the recruiters will have like stuff for you to study, like the uh, Soldier's Creed, your General Orders, uh, the Army Song, all that kind of general stuff. Uh, get you a little bit familiar with uh, drill and ceremony, left, right, face. Um, 
calling cadence, just getting used to speaking in front of people, leading PT, uh, in, a, in a scenario that really doesn't affect anything. So that's really all there really is about the delayed entry program. It's nothing special. Um, you're gonna take a little bit of time off your delayed entry or off your uh, reserve contract time. You're gonna get a little bit in shape. You're gonna learn a little bit about the Army. You're gonna get, um, you're gonna learn you know what it's like to be around other like-minded individuals and what it, you know it just gives you a little taste of how tough it's going to be uh, it gives you a chance to like meet people that are going to your different uh, basic trainings and MOS's and you know you might meet some people um, that you will be going to basic training with I mean it's good to know people you know people I, I still keep in touch with a few guys that I, I uh, went to went through the program with um, one of my buddies is in Afghanistan uh, one of my buddies from the training program is in the Ranger Regiment now. I think he's 3rd Battalion, 75th. Um, but don't quote me on that. Something like that. So it's just good to know people. Um, allows your recruiter to uh, know that you're not dead. But don't, like, I, I don't know if I said it, but don't be nervous going to uh, your training events, your training programs. Um, you know, everybody's there to learn. Everybody that is there to, you know, just get in a little bit better shape. And nobody's really judging you or anything as long as you know, just have a good attitude about it. And uh, I, I thought they were pretty fun looking back on it. Uh, I wish I would have went to more of them. I probably went to two a month. I honestly didn't go every week just because I didn't think I got that much out of it. But I, I looking back, I got a lot out of it. Um, and it, it was actually pretty fun. So that's basically the Future Soldier Training Program, delayed entry program for the U.S. Army. Quick little overview. I hope that helped you out. Like I said, all you guys that have already been through it, leave your insight down below. Any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. I know this might have been a little vague, but uh, yeah, come on over to come on over to my Instagram, P Wilson35. I answer all my DMs over there. Um, a lot of people don't like to ask them in the comment section, but yeah, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're new, hope it helped you out, and I will see you in the next video.